Welcome back to my window. One of the many featured artists here at Armature in Ben, Eric Thompson, has been making incredible sculptures and paintings for only two years. And after a weekend trip to Ben, decided to quit his job, move to the east side, and start pursuing his passion for the arts. And you work at Ben Broadband with us. I we didn't did. even know that. How did we not know that? But look. I, I am totally not aware how nobody knew that. Yeah, well, <laughs> nice to meet you, first and foremost. But when I saw your sculptures, and Tamby, the owner of Armature, was the one that pointed you out to me, and I can't believe that you've only been doing this for two years. How did, you, how did this even start? I was a latecomer to the yeah. world of art. I had no idea that I even had a predilection for art. Yeah. And uh, a class that I took just really clicked something inside of me and made me want to pursue and put dive into, literally. Art. Yeah. And so you you have you do sculptures and painting, but let's talk about your sculptures first. And okay. obviously, different materials that you use. And I know you say that's going home to your brother, but <laughs> that's part of the cost of this show. <laughs> no, um, you you use a lot of different materials. What? How do you get your inspiration? Um, I usually use what I have at hand. Really? Yes, because making sculptures is an expensive process. Yeah. And if you can use what you have at hand and what's available. It kind of cuts down on that expense. Yeah. And so, stone. I had a piece of stone that we had gotten as part of a project, and I just decided to take it and turn it into a sculpture because it was a very easily easily workable material. Yeah. And it made for uh, what I consider to be a lovely composition. Um, well, I mean, I have stones in my yard and <laughs> things, but I don't. I mean, how does it, how do you go from a stone in your yard to like? a beautiful piece of art. Is it something that you're just inspired by? Is it something that you just go, oh, I need to, uh, this is what I have in my mind? Or is it something, is it artistic in the sense that it just kind of comes to you organically and you go? Well, my artistic drive, I know we hear a lot about people finding what's buried in the stone, finding what's buried in the wood. But for me, my process is a little different. <laughs> my sculptures are a process of venting. This is where I'm ripping the form from the stone because it helps me to calm down it helps me to it's a so it's a form of meditation really well that's fantastic but you also do paintings I do so tell us about those my paintings that would be more along the traditional I love these beautiful things and I but those compositions are generally pretty thought out pretty sketched out and pretty formal yeah. Unlike my sculptures which just kind of run the gauntlet and come as they come I mean my paintings are a process that I use. I make a layout for them and I tend to stick with that with very few changes. Yeah, but uh, when, going back to the sculptures based on what you just said, do you even, when you find a, a rock or a piece of wood or a deer, you know, if you find something, do you have any idea at first what you're even going to do or does it just kind of come to you as you go? The first thing is finding the main source of what it's going to be like a stone yeah. or a form or the piece of wood and then saying, I need to do something with this, yeah. not, this is going to be something, I need to do something with this. And then the process begins. Then the process begins. What I love is what I touched on in the beginning of this interview is your short story and that you've only been doing this for two years and you came over here on a, uh, a last Saturday yep. and Tamby said, you need to move over here and do, do art. I did. And I found the art community here in Bend and Central Oregon to be so warm and welcoming Yeah, that it was a place that I needed to be. The vistas, you know, it's wide open country. I love it and I get to see it every morning as I come into work or as I drive around town and it's just very inspiring, very freeing and like I said, the people are great. I've met some really good people in this community. Well, you've only been doing it for two years. What does it, how does this community compare? Are, are, were you surprised at the art community here? Because, I, I mean, at least I, I, I'm not surprised that we have this talent pool and there is a very good creative space to, to make some of this beautiful art, but there's a lot of people that are really talented in this area, in my opinion. There's a lot of people who are really talented and a lot of people who are really supportive. Yeah. And that's what was so attractive, is because coming from the Valley, I found some good support and I found some good friends in the art community but I also found a lot of competition for the little bit of resources that are out there yeah when I moved here I found that 
everybody's encouraging you to get as much as you can and to do as much as you can. And they're there to help you, not going, okay, I'm going to help you to this point. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're huggers here, too. <laughs> I'll gonna let you know that lot. after this interview. <laughs> we're going to hug it out before you go home. How can people um, get a hold of your art? Obviously, you have it at Armature. Yes, I am featured at Armature right now. And I'm also, I also have a website that we're revamping, but we shall have it up and running here really quick yeah. at axiologyart.com. Okay, well, perfect. We'll put that underneath your name. It's going to be right under here somewhere. And people, in the meantime, can come down to Armature to take a look at all your... And as far as paintings, if someone wanted said, I want a portrait of me, do you do that? I do. I do do Excellent. commissions. Excellent. Well, you're going to get to that real soon. All right, <laughs> thank you. Really nice meeting you. Hope to see you at work. You will. And, you know, if you want to give us a discount, you can. <laughs> all right, uh, my window from Armature. We'll be right back.